a maroon bracelet, a simple circle, connecting two young men who never met, one whose name is written on its surface, and another who carries its message. What do you think you had in common with this boy? Uh, passion, enthusiasm, and a drive in life. Taylor Haugen! In a Florida town named Niceville, Taylor Haugen grew up with three guiding passions. Family, faith, and football. And for the boy everybody called T, one look at his room made clear where he dreamed to play. He had it all planned. <laughs> he was going to play for the University of Florida. He wanted to major in engineering and was going to be a Gator for the rest of his life. He looks at Tim Tebow as, as the kind of man he, he you know, looked up to as a mentor and who he wanted to become. From his 4-0 grade point average to his church missions, T's time was spent giving and striving, especially as a determined wide receiver on his high school's junior varsity team. And he dropped the ball a lot, especially early on. He, he wasn't known to be the greatest receiver, but his heart was in it and his soul was in it, and he just kept going. You know, he never quit, he never gave up. For Taylor and his Niceville teammates, the 2008 season began with an August scrimmage. Late in the fourth quarter, Taylor lined up to run a slant pattern. As I threw it over the middle, he went up into the air and caught it. And at the same time, he was hit by the safety and the linebacker, and he went down hard. He didn't move for a couple seconds, then got up, tried to go back into the huddle. And they yelled from the sidelines that he needed to come off. He was wobbly, staggering. They could tell that he needed to at least sit out a play. And he made it over to the sideline on his own. Once they laid Taylor down, I could tell his color did not look good. The doctor was there, and he kind of concurred at the same time that, look, you know, we've got a real problem. Taylor was taken to a nearby hospital where doctors discovered his liver had been ruptured by the collision. Despite hours of surgery, he was bleeding to death internally. Doctors told the Haugens there was nothing more they could do for their only child. At one point, I thought that he was trying to wake up. And in my heart, I'll always think of that because I held on to him and he was squeezing my hand as I talked to him. So I believe in my heart that he was trying to talk to me that he was trying to tell me it would be okay. After we cut off the life support, I held him in my arms and watched him pass away. I felt his spirit and soul leave this place and go to a better one. Taylor Haugen was 15 years old. His loss stunned the entire community, but the grief gave way to something more enduring. The Taylor Haugen Foundation was created to grant scholarships to those who embody Taylor's spirit. In February, the charity got some unexpected help at its first award ceremony when Tim Tebow was in town to receive his own accolade, the Werfel Trophy. As soon as Tebow arrived, people began to tell him all about a boy who dreamed to be a Gator. They were telling me what a great kid he was and how he meant so much in people's lives. Just the passion and the enthusiasm for Taylor's life from other people, not even family, not even necessarily friends, just people on opposing teams, people that knew him. I just realized, wow, this kid was really loved. We asked if he might possibly present the Taylor Haugen Trophy since you know, since he would be there anyway. I've got to see, over the last 24 hours, a lot of people that came in contact with Taylor. And a lot of lives were changed. And when my life is over, I don't want people to remember about me. National Championship, Heisman, 
I want them to remember the lives that I changed. So in a way, I want to be exactly like Taylor Howard. I just know that my baby was smiling down that day. During that visit, the Haugens offered Tebow a symbol of their son's memory. Brian handed him one of the bracelets and asked him if he would like to have one. And from what I understand, he's not taking it off. It's just an honor to see uh, folks like Tim that wear that wristband that, that never knew him, didn't know us, but respect his legacy. And it just it's touching for us. Taylor, he was a nice little eagle. He wanted to be a Florida Gator after that. And for Tim Tebow to wear it, I think it means that a little bit of Taylor is already at Florida. To this day, among the nine bracelets Tebow wears on his wrists, one bears the name of a boy whose dream Tebow carries on. Even though he's 15, even though he didn't have all the accolades in the world, he still left a legacy and he still challenged me to this day to leave a legacy like he did.